Fairlight is a DAW built into the DaVinci Resolve video editor, and more importantly, it is completely free. Today, we're continuing our series on Fairlight with the Inspector. In the Inspector, you can animate clips with keyframes. Most simple keyframing tasks can be performed in the Inspector using three buttons that appear to the right of any parameter that's capable of being keyframed. Remember, it takes a minimum of two keyframes to create an animated effect. To add a keyframe, select a clip, open the Inspector, then move the timeline playhead to the frame where you want to place a keyframe. Next, click the keyframe button next to the parameter of the inspector you want to animate. And finally, once you've added at least one keyframe to a parameter, all other adjustments you make to parameters in the inspector or using the on-screen transform or crop controls in the timeline viewer, add new keyframes automatically if the playhead is at another frame. Click the small left or right hand arrow on either side of a parameter's keyframe control to jump the playhead to the next or previous keyframe. You can also just press the right bracket and left bracket to go from keyframe to keyframe. To edit an existing keyframe, frame of a parameter, move the playhead on the top to the keyframe you want to edit, and then change that parameter, either in the inspector or using the on-screen controls of the timeline viewer. Eased keyframes create animated changes that begin slowly and accelerate to full speed or slow down gradually to decelerate to a stop. This only works when you have two or more keyframes creating an animated effect. Move the playhead to the frame with a keyframe using the next or previous keyframe controls, then right-click the orange key frame button and choose ease in or ease out or ease in and out depending on which keyframe you're editing and the effect you want to create. To change keyframe to linear, right click the orange keyframe button and choose linear. To delete a single keyframe, move the timeline playhead to the frame of the keyframe and click the orange keyframe button on the inspector to delete it. To delete all keyframes for one parameter, click the reset button to the right of a parameter's keyframe control. You can also delete all keyframes in a group of parameters in the inspector by clicking the reset button to the right of a parameter's group title bar. To disable or enable a single parameter's keyframe effect in the timeline, click the toggle control at the left of the parameter's keyframe track. Orange means the track is enabled and gray means the track is disabled. To disable or enable a group of parameters in the inspector, click the toggle control at the left of a parameter group's title bar in the inspector. Again, orange means that the group is enabled and gray means the group is disabled. Disabled. Each clip has individual volume parameters that are accessible in the audio panel of the inspector when one or more audio clips are selected. Each audio clip in the timeline has a simple volume control that lets you adjust the gain of that clip. A simple stereo pan control that lets you pan the clip that is useful for editors of visuals working in the edit page to quickly create simple panning effects to aid in a craft edit. Dragging the slider lets you pan audio to the left or right and the control is centered at zero by default. Audio clips in the timeline also have pitch controls that let you alter the pitch of a clip without changing the speed. It has two sliders letting you adjust the clip pitch in semitones, which are large adjustments, just a twelfth of an octave, and scents, which are fine adjustments, at a hundredth of an octave. Each audio clip in the timeline has a speed change control that lets you alter the speed of the clip with the option to have the clip's pitch follow the adjusted speed change or maintain the original pitch. The speed change window has eight different controls. The enable button turns the overall speed change effect off and on without resetting the controls, whereas the reset button will reset all controls of the speed change window to their defaults. Under direction, the right arrow maintains the forward direction of the waveform, the left arrow reverses the direction of the waveform, and the snowflake icon creates a freeze frame. There is a flywheel control to adjust the speed by percentage, plus or minus 100%, and a flywheel control that syncs the speed percentage control showing the FPS relative to the speed change. Duration indicates a new timing of the clip and when checked ripple sequence moves all the media after the action to ripple edit to the new duration. Pitched correction when checked maintains the original pitch of the clips when speed changes. When unchecked the audio will speed up or slow down with the speed adjustment. The slower the speed change the lower the pitch. The higher the speed change the higher the pitch. Here's a playlist of other videos I've made about DaVinci Resolve Fairlight. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing.